But T Rail, man, from Back on Fig, man, if y'all seen Back on Fig this week, man, uh, they had Charleston White up. They not physically up there, man, but I thought it was April Fools at first, because it was April Fools. Uh, I thought they were, I'm like, nothing capping on this shit, but sure enough, man, Smacky. <laughs> he had uh, he got he got the homie Charleston White on the phone, man. He got him on there. And Charleston White, man, he he spoke, man. Um, I don't, I don't to anybody that know Charleston White or, or follow his content, man. I don't think anybody thought that that shit was gonna go any way good. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, if I had a conversation, like I don't expect me to get Charleston White to come on here and it be a a, a pleasant conversation. Yeah. Unless I'm a nigga that just a passive nigga that ain't gonna say nothing, just like or whatever it is, or I just ain't gonna ask him like, "Hey, yo, why you be this?" I got a picture of Nipsey behind me right now, so I know he gonna disrespect that. Yeah. He didn't disrespect the DMX. He behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like it, it don't shock me basically what he what he did, what he was saying up there. Cause I mean, if y'all seen it. He got up there, he got he, he turned into Charles and White, he disrespected T Real Kids, he disrespected some dead homies, disrespected uh Slim Four Hundred, Nipsey, I can go on. And that's man. Smack Boy. Yeah. Always saying Pyro. He say it because of him. Yeah, he does, man. He definitely <laughs> does, man. But my question is though, do you feel that um niggas need to respond? Do you think that they got marked out? You think these niggas got curred up or whatever, just on the fact that Charles the White came up there and speak to them like this? Or do you feel that, you know, hey, this is what you signed up for. Man, I feel like, I feel, I'm feel i kind of 50-50, man. I felt like Smack bringing him on here, I felt like he knew that was going to happen because before he had brought him on there, you know, t real. I'm going to ask him this. I'm going to ask him this. And I'm thinking like, bro, if you talk like this, it ain't going to go right. Yeah, so y'all knew right. better. You know what I'm saying? Y'all knew better. Y'all knew that bringing him up here, especially you, man, you, it couldn't be physically. Because them niggas would have came back to that factory so quick and been up on there before he got up out of there. So he had to do it over the phone. But I feel like with T-Rail, bro, I don't like, think he even meant to do it on the phone. I don't think. I think it was really like April Fool's, like, hey, we going to try, but we don't know. Like, he might have said, hey, yo, I might I might call y'all niggas. Well, no, he, he they knew what they was doing because T-Rail popped it off with the Gilly stuff. No, no, I'm saying. You knew that no, was going. You ain't following me. What I'm saying is that. I don't think they knew that they was going to get Charleston White on the phone. What I'm saying is that Charles, you know, Charleston White and Smack have a relationship. They cool. So they didn't think that they, they threw that picture up there, that thumbnail up there, because we thinking that he's going to be in studio. He wasn't in studio. He was over the phone or whatever, but they didn't even think it was going to be that. They thought they made so you just So you just think he just was, he just tapped in. Yeah, they thinking just... that he's going to, like, Smack called that nigga like, what's up, nigga? Like, you know, just talking. They didn't think he's going to be on no phone for no damn hour. I, I didn't think it either, because I knew it was going to be... He paid for everything he do, so for him to do that right there, it's like, all right, now nah, he, he either pissed, or he want to give y'all niggas a show right now. And I think he wanted to give him a show. Because Charles knew what he was doing before he even came up there. Because I, I, the only thing that just, just disappointed me, more or less, is just the way, you know, I, and I, when we and you both, we knew T-Rail couldn't take him talking. But, I ain't gonna say you can't take a But the way I've seen T Rail crash out, yeah. I thought I was gonna get a little more, but I was just like, he was kind of laughing, playing it off. And I'm like, yo, he getting on your ass, bro. Like, yeah. talking about your wife. Talking about you a bum. You, talking you, about his wife, talking about his kids. You're dead yeah. homies. But, hey, like I said, I don't even gonna put that on T Rail that he can't talk with him or nothing like that. Cause I actually think, like, when he did it with, uh, with Bosco, when he did it with everybody else, I was like, yeah, man, y'all niggas can't. Fuck with that nigga on this motherfucking talking and mouthpiece wise, man. But I know T Real can get you know loud with him. But what did that what that do though? I mean, it wouldn't have did shit. But damn, bro. What that do getting loud with a nigga? Like I always when I used to like when I, I ain't gonna say used to, but when I've gotten the back and forth with niggas and shit like that, that shit used to kill me because I can be that nigga right there that be ah like the loud nigga, the losing, the, you know what I'm saying, vein coming out your head and shit like that. I can be <laughs> that nigga. But in the same sense, especially that phone shit. I used to be like, man, I don't see how y'all niggas sit there and scream at the phone, bro. Because I'm like, this nigga, anybody can be that, be tough on the phone. Yeah. We know Charleston White, bro. We seen him, bro. We know Charleston White probably like five, six. Man, Charleston White. <laughs> but what I want to say about him is five, six, 140. He stand on business, though. That's facts. And, it, and, I, and I didn't like it. I did, another thing I didn't like, because I felt like, 
I feel like when the second part of the convo, when he got to really talk to Smack, trying to break down, because I knew what Smack was doing. Smack was trying to get him to, hey, break down the character why you do this. You know what I'm saying? Break that down. And he say a lot of real shit in that, but it's just like the negative for me just too much outweighs the positive and yeah. shit. You know, especially when he's talking about the gang banger stuff. You gang bangers. You kill people. I get what That's he's what saying. That's what you do. Yeah, I get what he's saying about like, uh, you know, he, he's against gang bangers. He's against our gang members. He's against, you know what I'm saying, rappers. You know what I'm saying? Talking about killing, you know, black men. And, uh, 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 you know, just all the negative stuff that do come along with a lot of stuff that, you know, be out here. Now, mind you, he used to be a crip, too. He used to be a crip. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is that's to be the whole thing that don't be one of those niggas, man, that, that only, like, follow the, the small part of it, man, or just see the little part of it. Now, because that's what I'm saying. Like, I do not agree with Charleston White on a lot of shit he say, especially the Gilly the Kid shit. That's that shit crazy. ignorant. But at the same sense, man, he be like, damn near, man, like, how can you not step outside the box and see a nigga that's putting his character on and shit? He telling you. Nigga telling you, like, hey, yo, bro, I'm disrespecting the character of this and that. No, it don't make it right. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, I'm disrespecting Nipsey Hussle name as far as that, that rap name. But I'm not going to sit there and disrespect his name to his uh, his mother as far as his government name. But in the same sense, though, y'all let the character get so big to where the shit the motherfucking got where it's at right now to where he making money off of it. So, nah, he ain't going to stop. No, it's too late now. It's too, it's too late. Like, even if he get caught, the ass whooping is worth it. It's worth it now. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I blame it on these niggas that was out here antagonizing the shit. Why the fuck you out here, I mean, excuse my language, man, but why you out here antagonizing people when you ain't going to do nothing really? Like, you niggas sit there and jump on the internet and be like, hey, man, I would, I wish you would do this to me or uh, 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 jump on his live and shit and, and threaten a nigga and shit like that. But, like, niggas, you going to go to jail? Nope. His favorite, one of his favorite uh, phrases is, bro, I'm willing to die, go to jail. Uh, what do you say? Something like that. I'm ready to kill. Go to, he said, I'm ready to kill, go to jail, and die by whatever I'm talking about. And you don't be lying about it either. So if you ain't willing to do one of those three things, bro, it's like, why are you even oh, arguing with a nigga alone. like that? Yeah. You got niggas in your neighborhood that you know is killers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But why are you sitting there arguing with the nigga that you know is a killer, bro, if you're not even ready to even take it to that level he take it out? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? that's just crazy because he he say it all the time. You ain't never lied. <laughs> you ain't never lied, bro. No, I'm not. Nah, I'm not. I'm not motherfucking co-signing that nigga shit because that shit was loony as shit as well. But what I'm saying is, uh, like, we gotta be smarter with this shit, bro. You gotta like, be smart when you're dealing with him. Yeah, you gotta be smart. You gotta be shit. smart, bro. Because, like, like I say, I, I mess with Charleston. Why he he say. He say a lot, like you say, a lot of things that's very true about the community and stuff he do do that us as entertainers, rappers, that we don't do. So I'm not going to sit up here and say he for all bullshit. I just, I can't stand for, the this and the dead shit with me is so done with that's, me, bro. Like, But that's what I'm saying, though. I'm not that's cut my you off. pet peeve, bro. That's your pet peeve, but niggas don't say shit. And I'm like, I said, I'm not the nigga that's on Charles and White's side. Hell no. But the nigga that say that, I'm uh I, I, I'm not with the cool with the this and that. Nobody ain't got shit to say about when Chief keep doing it. Nobody ain't got shit to say when Lil Durk. Yeah, doing that's it. true. Nobody ain't got shit to say. Well, hold on. Ooh, let's I ain't not talking say about us. you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm talking about that's the narrative yeah. that's always out here though. Is that like okay, yo man, he talking about this and the dead, this and that. But all right, man, but you listen to these niggas that do it on record, and y'all. Y'all buy they I records. still hear Chief Keef. I mean, something I heard Chief Keef today. He said something about smoking too good. And this, but like, you know and, he, and he's still on that. And I'm like, same with like I said. He ain't the only one. That shit just became the norm now for niggas. The the the, the, the baby niggas out here that's not even motherfucking. These niggas that's in uh in, in Tubbuck, Indiana, whatever, bro. <laughs> they this and they homies dead or whatever. Now that's the thing. Now. Yeah. So it's like, how can you talk about him saying this and that? When you, you sitting there like fanned out, not you, I'm talking about niggas is fanned out about niggas that's out here like, hey, yo, I smoked this nigga on record. We smoking on this nigga on record. Yeah. Y'all got me feeling old as shit over here, man. I ain't lying. I feel old, man, talking about this shit. <laughs> it's became so much of the norm that I feel like I'm the nigga that's out of, out of pocket. Like, yo, man, like, but you ain't hip, nigga. Bro, like, man, that's just what the game has came to. And, and like you say, I understand him on stuff like that. It's just the, it's just the way my nigga go about it. It's a, it's a wild world. It's a wild world, man. But... No choice but the fillers. Sagging on his 
finest, I must say.